Gotcha! I'll take those shields and weapons. Thanks very much. Quietplease.org presents 253 Matilda. In the early 22nd century, the crewed asteroid 253 Matilda left the solar system on an interstellar mission. Generations later, after 114 years, a new star system stretches out in front of them. Episode 16, Escape Room. This really hasn't been my month. First the amputation, and now captured by invaders. And this huge crowd is setting off my agoraphobia, too. I don't think any of us are having a great time at the moment, Eva. The door! Attention! You will be transferred to your new quarters of our castle. We're ready to take the first group of twelve. We're staying right here. I have not asked a question, so you will be quiet. You can't make us. The guys will pick which trouble you are in the first room. Follow them when they tap your shoulder. Get your lost. alternative is to be shot again and terrible. Come on, people. Do you want Renata, to be shot? If they take me and then you see a chance to escape, promise me you won't blow the chance by trying to come after me. Really Dad. I can't promise you that. And it's not just about you. It's about all of our people. Life isn't some scripted holotainment. You can't always save everyone. And trying to isn't always the right call like it is in fiction. If your moment of opportunity comes, remember that. We have our toy. We'll be back in an hour for the next room. Thank you for helping us safely transfer the air processing system to a less primitive power source, Chief Flint. I didn't do it for you. I did it because we need to breathe too, and there's nobody maintaining our reactor or processing ore for it while you've got us imprisoned. Your reactor technology is incredibly primitive. And yet, you needed me to help you with it. That is precisely why we needed help. Primitive technologies like this require a lot of people to keep them running and can fail in so many complex ways. It's a wonder you have survived the mission. We rely on each other. Our technology is self-maintaining, self-repairing, and always safe without a need for interaction. Guess I'd be out of a job on your asteroid. Next, we will be demolishing your communication station. You will help us by evaluating any secondary effects that may have on other systems. What makes you think I'm going to help you? The alternative is we do it anyway with less safety assurance. If you want my help, I need a gesture of good faith from you. We have been receiving hails from the ship you launched. I propose that in exchange for your cooperation in this one simple matter, I can allow you to respond to the hail before the dish is demolished. That's... Oh, what the heck, let's do it. Can you bring my sister into the call, too? It's our father out there. I can, permit it. Hello? It's me, Marissa. They're about to destroy the communications dish, but they've agreed to let us talk to Dad first. Glad you're okay, sis. How far away is he now? The ship is around 100 light seconds distant. So we won't be able to have a real conversation. Just a voicemail exchange. I'll begin transmitting you now. Hi, Dad. 
The invaders are in control, but I think we're all alive. They dumped us in the Arboretum, and they're taking a few at a time over to their asteroid. They'll be demolishing the communications dish shortly, so we don't have much time. But I wanted to let you know we survived. And we'll still get out of this and regain control somehow, Dad. They haven't beaten us yet. They have assuredly been defeated. But we are gracious victors. We will deliver them back to Earth and take the opportunity to warn Earth of the consequences of repeating your bad behavior. You will be allowed to continue your mission as long as you continue decelerating. You will be allowed one reply message not to exceed 30 seconds length in transmission. What consequences? Destruction of the planet. Seems a bit harsh, blowing up a planet, don't you think? But necessary. This procedure was established to prevent worse outcomes. Worse than the destruction of a planet? The destruction of many planets is worse than just one. But if they heed our warning, they will be fine. Or at least we won't be the mechanism of their destruction. Now come with me. Perform the work you agreed to, and I will allow you to hear your father's reply. You know, Doctor, some people say every sin extracts a price, a pound of flesh. Yeah, is that so? Sounds very neat and tidy. The problem with our universe is that the people who pay the price for it aren't usually the ones who committed the sin. You talking about Amadi? Hernandez? Am I? It was nice chatting with you, Doctor. Okay, people. I need a practical step we can take now. Unless we've got a better idea, we should get the nanobots to somebody they'll take in the next group. Then once they're over to the alien asteroid, that person can find an opportunity to infect one of the guards there. But we have no way of knowing who they'll pick next. The people they picked were all pretty close to the door. Somebody could stand in front to improve their odds. But who can we send on that mission? knowing they may never make it back. I'll do it. Dad. It makes sense. I understand the mission, and I'm old enough, I have less to lose. But Dad, we don't even have the slightest idea how we could ever get you back from there. And this nanobot idea is such a long shot, it's almost ridiculous. What do you think the odds are, Doctor? Well, I hate to say it, but she's probably right. It's just the only thing I could come up with. But there's a chance? Maybe. There's just no way to know. Except to try. This long shot plan is the only idea we have right now. And they're going to take somebody next. Might as well be me. But Dad, I need you here to help us plan our escape. It's okay, Renata. Maybe we'll all end up together over there. And this will have been for nothing. But hopefully, I'll get the satisfaction of having helped you escape. I thought you said hibernation travel was permitted. Why are we being moved? It is permitted. But this asteroid is being confiscated, so you must be moved. We've already moved your hibernation pods into the shuttle. Will you take us home? In due time. We will stop at Earth first, but we can put you in hibernation for that. You should be home in six years local time, or about 25 years your home planet's clocks. But it can feel as quick as you like if you squeak through it. Thank you for returning us, and far quicker than we thought. We were on our way slowly homeward via Proxima Station when the humans revolted against their orders and hijacked us onto an aimless meandering. Five, you sound as if you like being invaded and imprisoned. When we get to our asteroid, you may consider yourselves guests, not prisoners. And here's the shuttle now. Please board. You've been awake far too long, Wong. You've gone native. 
253 Matilda is in town world, and we were the unwilling victims when they changed course. The course change may be like yesterday to you, but it was 22 years for me. Do you not care what happens to the humans? Being returned safely to their planet is far better than they deserve. I'd prefer they be put on trial. Salish, you made it. What's everyone staring at? Never seen a man pop out of the floor before? Are those alien weapons and shields? That's right. A couple of them made the mistake of standing on the transphasic conductor cable where I could run a charge. Good to know there's something they're not invulnerable to. Quick, stand in front of the equipment. Okay. We're ready to transfer the next group. When you feel the tap on your shoulder, proceed in an orderly fashion, single fire. Goodbye, Renata. I've been picked. I love you, Dad. I'll get you back somehow. I have an idea. Not to get the people they've taken back, but to get control back. I'll need your help, Dr. Stone. And yours too, Peters. Cut off air circulation to the Arboretum. With the number of people in there now, the plants won't be able to keep up, so we'll have to get this whole operation done pretty quick before people start passing out. And you still need to get a team into central air processing. Don't worry, we're working on that. Looking at the air use stats, I'd estimate there are four or five of them in that room. You are ordered to reveal yourself. Shit! They must have noticed my computer access and traced it here. Get out of there if you can, Peters! I'm afraid you'll be on your own from here. Good luck. What was that? Probably the communications array demolition. There goes my job. Well... It's about time we make some noise of our own. O'Hara? We're all ready, Detective. We punched the other hole and we can get to you in just a minute. Peters has isolated the Arboretum, and our two teams are ready. Come on through. Everybody, keep back at least five meters from this wall. It's obvious you're planning some sort of rebellion here. Is that any of your business? There are still some of us here who want to go home. We're not going to let you take that away from us. What are you going to do about it? That. I put some people on it already. We'll attract the aliens' attention, and then we'll let them put a stop to your plans before you can go get yourselves hurt. Give us cover and block the hole behind us as soon as I'm past you. Don't know how much time I can buy you against their weapons, but good luck. Okay, let's move! Into the hole! On the floor. Now, everyone. We're all in! Looks like O'Hara closed the gap nicely. Okay, here's the exit hole. This is where our paths diverge. If all goes well, we should be able to get the canister to you at the rendezvous point in under ten minutes. Good luck, Doctor. I wonder why we haven't seen anyone. They're probably guarding areas they consider critical. I don't suppose they have any use for our medical section. The doctor's reputation probably scares them off. They must have locked off everything they aren't using. Trying to override it will take too long. Hernandez, set the explosive charge on the door and I'll detonate it. 
You don't really think I'm going to trust you like that again, do you? You'll probably set it off while I'm holding it. Give it here. I'll set it. Keep back. Okay, you two wait here and keep watch. This will only take a few seconds. It better. That explosion is going to bring them down on us pretty fast. Let's go. Quick, behind this corner. That was too close. Do you really think this will work? I'm counting on them being quick to retreat because they think they can destroy us remotely. They actually can. Did you think of that? Keeping us alive was just a courtesy. <sighs> One problem at a time. That's all of them! Okay, Sergey. You're up. Do your thing. Can you insert the canister now, Doctor? There. That should do it. How long? Anyone not in the Arboretum, not wearing a mask, should be unconscious within two minutes. Mask on, everyone. Alright, everyone get ready to move out in our pre-planned search pattern. Remove the weapon and shield from any unconscious alien you encounter, and then leave them be. Leave them be. Some of them will figure out what's happening and get masks on. And some may be in the Arboretum thanks to Sanders, so we may not have much time before they fix the air mixture. Shouldn't we shoot them with their own weapons while we have a chance? Before they wake up and take revenge? We don't execute people in cold blood like that. Mayor, Dr. Stone has a point. We may not survive this ourselves if we don't take them out while we have the chance. We'll have to take that risk. I'm not willing to kill unconscious people who've only invaded us because they feel they have no other choice to safeguard their home planet. Let's hope they show us similar mercy when the time comes. Sir, we've secured the area and the remaining humans have settled down. But we're not sure how many escaped. We almost caught one in the maintenance closet accessing systems. He got away into the depth work, and there was an explosion in medical a few minutes ago. Yes, what is it? Sir, weapons fire in air processing right now. Excuse me. Why? I think I know what the escapees are up to. Speak! The explosion in medical? A an attack on air processing. They've got to be trying to poison your air. Thank you for your information. Sir, the situation is spiraling out of control. If we continue, some of us will die. Agreed. This is the commander speaking. We have a possible air systems attack. Put on your masks, then retreat to your assigned ships. This is a general withdrawal. Take me with you! Attention humans! Those of you that wish to be saved, follow us, and we will transport you to our asteroid. Anyone who prefers to stay and remain and die, when this world is obliterated, is welcome to it. Form an orderly view. Feels good to be back. Seems they've made a full retreat. No reports of them anywhere. Yes, this is the mayor. 
This is your last chance to surrender peaceably and apologize before we depart. You really must not understand humans if you expect us to beg to be recaptured. You've squandered your opportunity to be treated as guests and return home. Now your only future is death. We saved as many of you as we could, and we regret that was only a quarter of your crew. You'll send them back to us now. I think not. Perhaps we can negotiate for them. We couldn't condemn those we've taken to unnecessarily die with you. Make peace with you gods. Hello? All but two of the alien landing craft have lifted off, Mayor. Isn't there something we can do? There has to be. We'll be very lucky if we can just figure out a way to survive whatever they're planning to do to us. I think we have to consider those they've taken lost to us. How can we just abandon our people? My dad is over there. I'm sorry, Mayor. In books and hollowtainments, there's always a way to keep everyone together and safe and living happily ever after. But that's not how real life works. You've been listening to 253 Matilda, Episode 16, Escape Room. Created, written, produced, and directed by Paul Neerham. The mayor's father is Roger Arnold. Mayor Renata Matumbo is Kathleen Lee. Astronomy Chief Lawrence is James Lorenz. Jim O'Hara is Slim Sam V.O. The priest is David Nagel. Apprentice Tojo is Gwyneth Knight. Sergei Kochergan is Alexander Grace. Eva Hernandez is Lindsay White. Mission Specialist Salish Peters is David Loftus. The aliens are Megan Schmidt and Jeff Robinson. Detective Aranya Satang is Sova Rain. Chief Mech Larissa Flint is Lindsay Townsend. Ambassador One is Microsoft Azure Neural Voice Eric. Ambassador Five is the eSpeak speech synthesizer. Dr. Stone is John Gauntz. Dr. Peters is Ahmad A.J. Judah. Communications Chief Marissa Flint is Virginia Hargrove. Chief Botanist Juliana Saunders is Aaron Summonsby. The announcer is Aaron Summonsby. Sound effects and music courtesy freesound.org, asoundeffect.com, freepd.com, and audionautics.com. This program is licensed for free reuse and redistribution. Hear more episodes at quietplease.org slash 253.